Hey guys, so this is just going to be my very, very quick video where I'm going to go ahead and compare the HTC One X versus my Samsung Galaxy Note when they are both are running on the latest Android version 4.0. We just got it to the Galaxy Note around a week ago and we have of course the HTC One X that uh, got launched with it. I'm running here on the Apex Launcher and I think I'm running the Android Revolution HD ROM on my HTC One X. If you just go ahead and go down here at the bottom, we can go ahead and go to the software information and we can see that we're running on the latest, uh, or at least when I installed Android Revolution HD 5.0.0 by Mike1986. Both here uh, with the Apex Launcher. I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly start off this video by going over the hardware basically because what we should remember is that we are now comparing basically a Galaxy Note that's basically a Samsung device, a Samsung high-end smartphone for 2011. It got launched that year. Uh, and then we have the new HTC One X, which is basically HTC's high-end smartphone for this year. Um, this is of course both the international variants that we are going to go ahead and compare here. And the HTC One X has only been out on the market for around two months. So it's a still a very, very fresh device and I'll be using as you do know my Galaxy Note for around a half a year now as my main device. So if you go ahead and compare the specs here, um, one thing that's very interesting to note here also is that this uh, Galaxy Note is a very, very bulky and fat device, okay? It's 9.7 millimeters, um, and that's, that's pretty big. I mean, it's, 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 uh, it's almost uh, one centimeter there in thickness compared to the 8.9 millimeters that you get on the HTC One X, basically. And that's, that's a pretty big comparison or a pretty big difference, I think, over there. Uh, we are comparing the displays, a super AMOLED screen uh, with 1280 times 800 pixels, of course, on the Samsung Galaxy Note with Gorilla Glass 2 protection versus uh, HTC's uh, super IPS LCD capacitive touchscreen over here. 1280 times 720p, 4.7 inch versus, versus the... Uh, 5.3 inch screen on basically the Galaxy Note. So that's also a pretty big uh, difference there uh, in the screen size. If we uh, just mention that a little quick here. Uh, of course, it's also running on the Gorilla Glass 2 here, and we get the TouchWiz UI version 4.0 on the Samsung device and HTC Sense 4.0 on, on HTC Space device here. If you just go ahead and go down, you can also see that, of course, the HTC One X come in a unibody design here. So basically, if you go ahead and go to the back of this device, you can see that we can't go ahead and replace the battery as we can with the Samsung Galaxy Note, which we basically just can go ahead and quickly swap out the battery by taking off the back. And also that we can input the micro SD card in the Galaxy Note. That's also a pretty big difference over there that you might want to consider. Uh, if you go ahead and turn on the screens, this is also by the way how the lock screen looks like. Uh, even though uh, we are only on the Apex Launcher here and uh, we can see uh, that the Apex Launcher doesn't change the lock screen, basically. This is Samsung's own touchways and this is HTC Sense uh, touch or lock screen, basically. If you go ahead and go down to the specs, 8 megapixel cameras on both, um, uh, 16 gigabyte, that's what I got here on my Galaxy Note, but there's also like a 32 gigabyte variant out, uh, 1 gigabyte of RAM on both. Uh, you also get, uh, I think it's 24 gigabyte that I have way up on my HTC One X. If you go ahead and go down, of course, both have rear-facing camera, 1.3 megapixel and 720p on the 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 HTC One X, and uh, also a 2 megapixel one on the guys' note. But I'm not sure if it records in 720p or 1080p. Uh, so it's also here very important to note here that this is a HTC One X is a quarter core 1.5 gigahertz clock uh, using the Nvidia Tegra 3 processor versus Samsung's own um, uh, that's using the Exynos chipset. 
the dual core 1.4 gigahertz uh, based on the ARM Cortex A9. That's awesome. The Vitagra 3 is based on, but I mean that's this is quad core. This is uh, dual core. It's, it's a very very big difference over there. Uh, the GPU Mali 400 MP on the Galaxy Note, the ULP GeForce on the HTC One X. You shouldn't really have any big issues. Uh, with gaming on any of these devices. If you go ahead and also quickly here mention the battery, 2500 milliamps that's what you're gonna get on the Galaxy Note, and 1800 milliamps that's what you're gonna get on HTC One X. Very, very big difference there, even though the screen is a little bigger on the Galaxy Note. Uh, if you go ahead, I think that uh, in benchmarking scores that the Galaxy Note is scoring better because uh, 2500 that is around. 700 more milliamps and even though the screen is a little bigger it scores a little better in, uh, in in benchmark comparisons when they are comparing out the battery so this was just a very, very quick hardware comparison tour here also i should mention that the, the galaxy note feels a little bit more plastic while the hc one x feels a little bit more exclusive also come with three capacity touch buttons at the bottom uh, and here on the galaxy note at least the international variant you get a real hardware button in the middle but two and then two capacitive on the sides uh, if you go ahead and look on the sides, we of course uh, on the on the HTC One X have uh, the power button on the top, and the power button on the Galaxy Note is right here on the right side with volume up and down keys on the left side. Uh, while we're getting the up and down keys on the right side on the HTC One X, so uh, that's just a quick little hardware and uh, software tour. It's uh, probably a ton of things that I have forgot to talk about. Um, and also, of course, you get the styles uh, on the Galaxy Note. I think we're going to go ahead and continue with the next comparison. And I think that's going to be kind of a boot up test, both running on the latest software that's available on both of these devices. So this is going to go ahead and uh, be the first quick little test here when we're going to go ahead and do a boot up test. They're both turned off here, basically. So we're just going to go ahead and start them up uh, at the same time, both running on under full window. Let's see. Go. Hmm. Okay, didn't see it. There we go. Uh, I've heard something about that it could be some kind of hibernate thing or something that the, the HTC One X could boot up quicker because it really doesn't turn off fully. But I'm pretty sure about that. But clearly, as you can see here, it boots up way, 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 way quicker. Um, in this little comparison, what we did here, we have also now the internet fired up and everything. And starting up here, let's see if we can get some internet on my little device here. Yes, there we go. Okay, so people also want to know a lot, um, how does it feel when you're using the device. Uh, does it feel sluggish? Which of these one feels better? Um, I mean, I'm running both here, Sans 4.0, touch with UI there, um, both running APS launcher, both running Android 4.0. Let's just go ahead and double check that, those things here pretty quick. So as we can see, if we go ahead and start off with the HTC One X, it's running on Android 4.0.3, uh, same with the Galaxy Note, it is the GTN 7000 on the Galaxy Note, the international variant, uh, in, it is the Sense version 4.0 here, 
Uh, not sure if you can see, no, you can't see TouchBiz UI version here on the Galaxy Note, but they're both running here basically on, on the latest software that, that is available. Uh, so uh, how does it feel uh, when you're using the device? I can say it like this. Uh, the quad core, both are, I mean, bo both are based on Cortex A9, so um, they are come up kind of similar in that thing, but uh, the thing is that you get two extra cores on the HTC One X and you get on the Galaxy Note, and that's not something weird because the HTC One X, it's a new high-end smartphone for 2012, while the Galaxy Note is a high-end smartphone for 2011. So of course we're going to see a difference there. A more fair comparison would be if we compare the Galaxy S3 that is going to have a, a also quad core based on uh, Cortex A9, I think. Yes, should be. Um, uh, b b because basically this uh, is uh, 2011, this is 2012, but uh, it feels better, of course, on the HTC One X. It feels uh, better, it feels more smooth and everything when you are uh, scrolling and everything. And if you just go ahead and, uh, I mean, you, you have to like really get a feel. It's very hard to see on the video uh, the difference. I don't think that it's extremely bad on the Galaxy Note, but it could feel a tiny bit better. And uh, that, that's why I'm really looking forward to see the next Galaxy Note phone coming out here because uh, we are closing into a successor to the Galaxy Note, I think, because it's been a while well before, uh, around uh, a half a year now. Uh, if you just go ahead and also go ahead and check out the task manager here a little bit to see uh, what kind of um, RAM usage we are currently on, uh, we can go ahead and go over here to uh, task manager. And of course, we have a built in task manager uh, in TouchWiz UI. Uh, you can see that uh, right now, uh, with a few background apps running on my Galaxy Note, uh, it's only using around 450 megabytes. That's kind of interesting because usually I see it use a lot more, uh, like 5 to 600. Uh, the HTC One X is using right now 635 megabytes, but I haven't connected my Gmail accounts to it, or I don't think I have Kick Messenger or anything like that open up in the background. Uh, but they, they both use a lot of RAM, okay? That's the thing. Uh, they both use a lot of RAM. And that's why I really want to see, uh, that's why I really want to see a new device come out uh, with, uh, with more RAM, like the LG Optimus uh, LT2 that's gonna come out with two gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but that one overall isn't gonna feel as good here. If you just go ahead and fire up Play Store here at the same time as well, to try some app loading. Let's see here. We should try to download an app to see, uh, to compare the speeds a little bit over here. Let's see, uh, let's go ahead and download I don't have Spotify on any of these devices, so let's go ahead and do it, it like that. And let's go ahead and fire up install both at the same time. And one thing also you can see on the displays is that white is brighter. Uh, okay, the HD One X finish up a little quicker here. Uh, you can see that the white color on the Super IPS uh, it is a little brighter. Uh, the white colors and then the black colors is a little darker on the Super AMOLED screen. Uh, that's something that I've seen and everything. But I mean, uh, w when you launch apps and everything like that, the dual core one here versus the versus the quad core, you're not going to see real uh, that of a big difference, you know. Uh, if you just go ahead and try to download another app, oops, used to please you people. If you go ahead and go back, just go ahead and go to the game section. And let's see, what is this? Mini motor racing. Okay, this looks like an interesting game. I'm pretty sure what's gonna happen right now if I buy them both. Will I have to pay extra? But they are very, very similar in speeds. Your payment cannot be processed. Uh, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think I did it. Uh, the HTC, the Galaxy Note, they finish up here a little quicker. And that's why it downloaded it and everything made it faster. Now we can just go ahead and install it. And as you can see, I got both messages launched here at the same time. So, of course, they're both running on the same Wi-Fi network. But I think that's also kind of cool uh, that they're doing everything 
exactly at the same bloody time. Right now, of course, we are downloading on both Wi-Fi network at the same time. Uh, but they are very, very similar in, in speeds and everything. You're not going to notice a major difference. Um, it could be when you're using really heavy games. Uh, but, I mean, I, of course, I want the quad-core device. Of course, I want to change the results guys to 3 when it's going to be out. Try out the new TouchBiz UI. Try out the quad-core processor and use it. And uh, it's going to be fun to compare it against the HTC One X. Uh, because when the Galaxy Note almost could be have around the same speed as the HTC One X, it's going to be exciting to see what Samsung's going to do with their next smartphone, basically. And of course, uh, multitasking, you hold down the Galaxy Note, you do it like this. Um, this is a little bit different. HTC Sense is like this, you swipe to remove things. Uh, when this is a, on, that, on the Galaxy Note, it's a little bit more like the Android phone with the stock experience that you swipe to remove things like this. Okay. Now, while you're doing it like this over here, me personally, I prefer to swipe it like this because it feels like it's uh, it's doing it a little bit faster. Not that much, but a little bit faster. And that is a nice little feeling over there. Uh, okay, so it's finishing up here a little quicker. Uh, oh my God, this is a big game. 161 megabytes. Crazy. Okay, that was a kind of a huge game I was downloading. So it's installing here on both. Mini motor racing. No idea what this app is all about. If you just go ahead and launch it at the same time. Finishing up quicker there on the HTC One X as it should. Oh wait a sec, it's downloading even more. Okay, it's installing some even extra stuff. Okay, that's kind of interesting. Kind of a massive game over here. I mean like 161 megabytes, I was downloading that on both. That is insane. There we go, see some action here. See if we can finish it up here. Got some a little bit more lag there on the Galaxy Note. Uh, if you just go ahead and go to Quick Race, never tried this game out, but it certainly looked kind of interesting. So of course I won't be able to run these both at the same time. It's gonna be very, very hard. This looks like a cool game, I gotta say. Definitely need to check this out. Let's go ahead and run here a little bit on Galaxy Note first and then on the HTC One X. Doesn't feel, I don't feel any lag or anything on the Galaxy Note. Let's go ahead and uh, try it out soon here with. Let's try it out with this one, basically. Oh my. 
This display is gorgeous here on the HTC One X. So HTC should really like create a a bigger a Galaxy Note competitor. And we have heard these rumors that they may do that also. Okay, I I think I have effed up this car basically. I think the Super IPS could look even better than the AMOLED screen. It really is an amazing display. Because it makes white really look white. So some quick gaming over here. Uh, you should trying it out. Yeah, that was kind of interesting. It did uh, go out a little bit quicker there on the Galaxy Note. Let's go ahead and also do some uh, browsing tests. And I'm just going to go ahead and download Google Chrome on both these two devices. I'll write a Google Chrome open up here because that's, that's going to make this test a little more fair. So I'm just going to go ahead and download it, open it up, and then we're going to go ahead and try it out. So stay tuned for that. Okay, people, so here we are in Google Chrome. And uh, one thing that I could uh, tell you right now also with the new Android 4.0 update for Galaxy Note, it seems like some of you have uh, made it so you can't turn up the brightness uh, that much that you could on Android 2.3 Junior, but I'm not sure why they did that, but I'm running on full brightness right now and it's not even close to what I can get on on the HTC One X. I'm not sure if I like that. And uh, one thing that I could also tell you here about the text here that we can see that it's much more, uh, it's much, it's much more crisp on the HTC One X. And uh, I mean, it, it should be because it it's a smaller display, uh, 4.7 versus 5.3, but it has the same kind of resolution, kind of ish. Um, so uh, we are here on Google. We are connected on both a Wi-Fi network. I'm just going to go ahead and hit Google.com. Load up quicker there on the HTC One X. You're just going to go ahead and type uh, something over here. Let's see, we have another tab also. And this is what I love about the Google Chrome browser. You have this amazing tab experience. So if you just go ahead and type in something like no, no, GSM Arena, they are a pretty heavy page, I think. Let's see, GSM Arena. Okay, there we go. We have loaded it up. Now let's see. Okay, loading them both. Okay, I think they were kind of about the same over there. Um, let's see, which one feels better? Yeah, the HTC One X definitely feels a little better here, a little faster. I could definitely say. Um, but if you go ahead and go to the desktop version, I always love the desktop version on websites. Okay, so they are very, very similar in speed. Uh, one thing that I really do love here about the HTC One X is that it's a lot brighter in the display uh, than what you actually can get um, uh, on, on. And also one thing that I notice here is that it feels better uh, on the HTC One X in the Google Chrome browser. Uh, in the stock browser, it feels better on the Galaxy Note from what I could, what I, from what I have tested, you know. So here we are basically. Just go ahead and tap on this article. It's not a massive difference. 
they are kind of the same uh, over here. Even though I prefer the stock browser in uh, in Android when I'm on my Samsung device, is because that one feels better when you go in and out than you than it does on the Google Chrome browser. Even though it feels extremely good here on both. Let's see. Just go ahead and tap up here. Looking for plugin. Okay, that's interesting. Oh yeah, it's a is it is the flash ad? That could be the case. Load up a little quicker here on the HTC One X. I gotta say, it's not that much difference. Okay, it's not that much difference. And both on both these devices, as I said, we have the we we basically have the game up and running in the background. As you can see, this is the apps I have over here. Sometimes also when I tap on the capacity buttons uh, on the HTC One X, it feels like they're a little slow to respond, and sometimes that they aren't really responding. And I've heard that the Xperia S also had some of those issues, and I'm not really sure about what that is all about, basically. But as we can see over there, um, Okay, whatever. They they load up the kind of same over here. Uh, the HTC One X is a little quicker here also. We're actually way quicker here. But I mean, it should. It's it's a it's a half a year new phone, or or a newer phone basically. So it should be it should have that little extra advantage basically over there. Um, also. I think we're gonna go ahead and try to do some benchmarking scores and testing, so stay tuned for that. So we have the Geekbench uh, app up, open and running, uh, up and running here. Quad core HTC One X clocked at 1.5 gigahertz. Dual core uh, a Samsung Galaxy Note clocked at 1.4 gigahertz. And 4.0.3 on both. Uh, only 800 megabytes of RAM on the Galaxy Note, even though it should be one gigabyte, but that's, that's a little bit weird because we get almost around 200 more megabytes on the HTC One X. But both states in the specs that they should be one gigabyte. So. I'm not sure if something failed a little bit over there, uh, but it seems like that. Um, also something that I've seen in a few apps um, with the HTC One X and some things that people have been complaining about is, as you can see here, that just because you don't have a menu button, uh, it looks like this. You get those three dots down here uh, for the menu, basically, and that looks pretty ugly. And the thing is that we have a menu button on the Galaxy Note, and I think that we're going to still have that on the Galaxy S3, uh, but uh, yeah, whatever. Geekbench 2. Let's do this. Is it fair that I have a ton of apps open up in a Galaxy Note? No problem, not. Oh, okay, so 1294. Okay, maybe it should take a little longer on the Galaxy or on the HC One X just because it is. Uh, it is having more cores. Uh, 1294. HTC One X, come on. We are waiting for you. We are waiting. And we are waiting. And we are waiting, 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 waiting. Come on, HTC One X. I know you can do it. Today. Please. Come on. What is your problem? Okay. Come on, HTC One X. <sighs> okay, I think I've been taking like twice the speed right now, at least. I'm not sure why.
Okay, whatever. Okay, so this this device doesn't want to work together with me right now. Um, okay, so I think that we're just gonna go ahead and uh, end this little test over here. Yeah. Now, if we go ahead and continue to talk a little bit about the camera, because of course the camera apps is something that many people are gonna use. And uh, you st I, I can say it like this right now, if, if you take a lot of pictures, I would, you know, go for the HTC One X. I mean, it really has an amazing camera uh, with this awesome mode over here that you basically can see that you can go ahead and uh, you have all of these effects that I've been showing off. I just love them, that you have them instantly. Uh, this is the stock app that you're gonna get. You can start to record a video. Uh, and then that you also you know, instantly can go ahead and like um, take a picture and it's just super quick and everything, you can zoom in there's so many good things I love about the HTC One X camera but there's one thing that I freaking hate and I really get pissed off by and why I still would go with the Galaxy Note and that, that's because of this frame rate issue that the video looks effing laggy, okay? Uh, probably some software issue but I mean it's, it's annoying as hell um, and thing is that, uh, sure, I can't take a video and uh, take pictures at the same time uh, with my Galaxy Note, but at least it doesn't feel as uh, slow when I'm doing video and stuff like that. And that's the most important thing for me, that it doesn't really feel slow. That, that, that's just annoying, you know? Uh, but if you only take pictures, the Galaxy, the HTC One X is definitely a killer camera, uh, I'm gonna, gonna say. Uh, and also in, in video mode also I could tell you that it's awesome the HTC One X when you, when you talk about the white balance. The white balance is really horrible on the HTC, on, on the Samsung Galaxy Note. Uh, it, it, it really do is horrible. Um, yeah. So quick little video covering that as well or I mean quick little uh, walkthrough of that. Um, yeah. So people, just to sum up this video, uh, I'm still using the Galaxy Note. I'm still gonna take the Galaxy Note over here, over the HTC One X. And I gotta say that, I mean, there's not really that much big of a difference uh, between these two phones. Basically, I mean, if for, for a normal user, it's not that much big difference. I mean, the, the, like, the only like biggest difference uh, between these phones is the screen size that the Galaxy Note uh, is uh, much bigger than the HTC One X, but I mean, I think it's a little bit like comparing Windows XP to like Windows Vista, uh, because, and then I think like that the, the, the HTC Sense is like Windows Vista, and the, the thing is that, I mean, like, Windows Vista it looks good and everything, and, and that's something that I also can relate to to the uh, HD One X. It's a beautiful form factor. There's a lot of things that's good with this device, but it falls uh, short here on some things like on the software side. I really doesn't like the multitasking over here. The swipe it feels uh, slower than than the stock experience. There are a lot of things I don't like. I don't like the keyboard as well. I think it feels clunky and it feels very very big and everything on the HTC. Um, one X uh, also doesn't like one of the, yeah very big things that I don't like about the HTC One X yeah it sure it feels good um, the material you can feel it, it feels like if you're gonna hold it and feel it in our thing a lot it, sure it feels good in our frame but one major problem I have with this device is that it feels extremely big and it's kind of hard to hold uh, compared to my Galaxy Note and also that uh, the the start button is kind of hard to reach. Uh, there's, there's some things that do piss me off a lot about this device basically and also a very very big thing that do piss me off is that frame rate issue with the camera um, and I mean like it's not that actually much of a difference I mean I think that uh, in, in some way sense is a little better than touch with uh, but then I feel that touch with is a bit like Windows XP sometimes you just want some basic stuff that just works uh, one thing that I really do love about TouchWiz is that it's it's very very simple. The keyboard doesn't have any like all the correct things that sometimes uh, make it, it, it wrong, like guess wrong, and you type wrong exactly like Apple have with some kind of guess feature that they have. I like it that it won't guess my words and everything. Um, I love my Galaxy Note screen. Also, that's that's a very very big thing. If if HTC would do a competitor with that would be a 5.3 inch. 
Um, then I would seriously, if the HD One, one X would be uh, 5.3 inch, I would seriously consider to uh, switch to it. Um, and I mean, there's some software things that I, I like more uh, about TouchWiz. I, I like TouchWiz a little bit more than it feels a little bit like uh, a little bit less uh, resource heavy and it's just small things i mean it could be just because i've been using galaxy note for like six months and really doesn't want to pick or i mean uh, that i want to that i want to make a make a a switch but one very thing one very important thing as i said there is really the ergonomic that it really feels good uh, that it has these kind of rounded off edges i just love that and that's why i love the galaxy s3 because it's going to have even more rounded off edges and I really do think that I'm gonna go ahead and make a switch and uh, go to the Galaxy S3, but uh, we, we'll see. I mean, I may, I may not like the Galaxy S3, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to like the Galaxy S3. Uh, and uh, I mean, if, if I if I wouldn't have been a reviewer, I would probably not be as hard against the HTC One X, but now when I'm a reviewer, I'm gonna be very hard. And uh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm still going to pick the Galaxy Note o over 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 the HTC One X and it's going to be very very fun to compare the Galaxy S3 versus the HTC One X and I think that that's going to be a really really fun uh, thing to do and also the new Edge Optimus 4X when I can get my hands on that device uh, but yes to sum it up uh, the form factor I don't like it it feels heavy it feels hard to hold and everything the software issues uh, that uh, th that camera thing I, I don't, I don't want to have a video mode that just sucks and makes my whole phone lag i'm very very picky in those things okay i'm very very picky and also one also very important thing is that the browser feels a little bit, a little bit like slow when you zoom in and out in the stock browser also something that i don't like but really would love to see hdc try to work on those things and also try to make a galaxy note competitor and we've heard rumors that they may do that in this um, in, in this fall this year so it's going to be very very exciting but uh, yeah Use have an awesome day. Bye bye.